great grandpa Eloise and and how he had been in this in this horrible accident and cut off his hand and <laughs> but then you said that he was such an amazing gardener so he did vegetables he did flowers I mean <laughs> just what do you remember like the kind I mean that's something you always love to do too it seems to be something that everybody loved I remember a sidewalk kind of a curved sidewalk after he moved to town he and, he and grandma moved to town to Hayfield and there was kind of a curvy sidewalk that led up to the the entrance of the house and he had flowers on both sides I remember mm. that yeah. Did he do his flowers? Were they perennials? Were they? Did he save seeds no, from year to year? No, I don't or? think so. Okay. Maybe he did. I don't Could know. Could save them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Did, did she like that sort of thing, or was that just something that he loved to do? I think he did that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. I mean, Grandpa mm -hmm. was a farmer. Mm -hmm. Think about all mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. And I remember Emma and Mary Cran. They were oh, great they gardeners. Oh, they were great gardeners, too. Yeah, they all... Mm -hmm had that, didn't they? They did. And they would can. I mean, I remember Grandma doing a lot of my canning. mother, your mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, yes. Yeah. In those days, they had big crates yeah. of, of uh, vegetables and or, uh, fruits, mostly. Mm -hmm. Pears, peaches, uh, mm -hmm. Bing cherries. What else did she can? Apricots. And then she'd pick blackberries up in the woods. Mm hmm mm-hmm. And that was hard because it's hard to pick blackberries. They they're prickly. You, you yeah. have to go through a lot of. of uh, Did you have to go do that too? No, I didn't do that. No, no, no. She didn't believe in women, women uh, doing hard manual labor on the farm. I remember you saying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, she didn't think that women were built for that. Huh. You know. So I never went out in the field and and uh, and did heavy heavy work. I wanted to though. One time when <laughs> when I was in college, I wanted to learn. I wanted to earn some money, and I was sure that I could shock grain. Mm -hmm. And and my dad needed people to shock grain at the time, mm -hmm. so I was sure. He said no. He said you you just can't do it. I said oh yes I can. Just let me try. So I went. <laughs> oh, you did. And I did. I tried it. But, oh, it was terribly heavy. I couldn't do it. It was too heavy? Yes. I think I did about one shock, and that was about what it. What is it? What is shocking grain? Well, they, they come along with a machine, you know, and they put it the, the grain in bundles. Mm -hmm. And it's lying on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pick up. You pick up two oh, at a time, oh. and then you set them up. Oh. Two more. You know, until oh, you've sure. got a shock. Oh. And you've seen shocks in the field. Yes, I have. And then the men would come along when it's time to to thrash with their hay rack. And this, I, I just, to me, this is heavy work. They t they'd use a pitchfork, you know, and they'd, they'd okay. heave them up onto the, 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 the hay rack. Oh, the hay rack. Uh -huh. Until it was full. I mean, oh high. Heavy, heavy work. You were in such good condition. Oh, they must have been. Yeah. Must have been. And they did the same with the corn stalks. Mm. They had corn shocks, too, sure. and that was even heavier, mm -hmm. you know, and they would throw that up. Oh, my. But don't, didn't, you have, didn't you know some girls who did that work, though? Well, Gladys Hoffman, yeah. a neighbor girl. Everybody mm -hmm. said Joe never had to get a hired man because he had Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> she said. So... <laughs> Mrs. Hoffman, too. Yeah. Those two. Well, they were, I, I think I remember Mrs. Hoffman because mm -hmm. she was a big woman, though. Yes, yeah, she, she was, yeah. Yeah. Tough. And she could do anything. Yeah. She tiled the bathroom. She did, she did carpentry work and <laughs> she did everything. Isn't that funny? So mm -hmm. Gladys Hoffman. Oh. And there are probably other girls, too, who could. Well, she's the only one I know that oh, really, really did heavy farm work. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. Isn't that funny? So, but yeah. But Grandma just—I I remember you saying that too. That, you know, she wanted you all to get an education. Oh the yes. Education was. Oh yes. Very, very important. And at that time, not too many girls, girls, mm -hmm. or boys, you know, went on to college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There weren't too many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And didn't Grandma herself, she had a scholarship, mm -hmm, didn't she? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so she valued it. And yes, yes. What happened there? What was the reason? Because why? she had an Irish mother that wanted her to stay home. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. So, and so yeah. even though, she, didn't she, she was like valedictorian mm -hmm. for class, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, she was, yeah. She had a full scholarship to, was it St. Well, I don't know how or? much she had. I don't know. Okay. I don't know I just remember hearing had. about that and, uh -huh. that, and that she never, never, never used, used it. Never used it, uh-uh. Never uh, used it. Uh, but I do remember her, you know, just always, I mean, she had a dictionary oh, on did the counter. I oh, remember that. Okay. Yeah, she was, yeah. she was so interested. And she was always interested in what we learned, what we were learning in mm -hmm. our studies. And, mm -hmm. and then she sent you all to Bethlehem Academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would have been hard, too. I mean, mm -hmm. what was that like? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. And that was, that was kind of different for me at first. Because I liked Blooming Prairie High School, and I was doing well there, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. I had to get on the bus at 10 after 7 every morning. Mm -hmm. But uh, I liked it. I had some nice friends there. So what was the switch? What did, why did she... Because she decided that it was time for me to go to Bethlehem Academy. She wanted us to get a Catholic education. I think that was it. Mm -hmm. So I went, and I hated leaving Connie. Connie I'm 12 years older than yeah. Connie. She was just little then. Yeah. And I hated leaving her. Oh, she must have yeah, been so cute. Yeah, she was, yeah. She was a baby then, you know, yeah. kind of. So. And what did your dad say about all this? Well, he went along with it. Did he? He did. Was yeah. Grandma kind of running the show? I mean, in a way, or, mm -hmm. or not really? Or did they, he, he did all the outdoor stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. calling all the shots, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when it came to he you He went kids, along with the education really? part. Yeah, okay. he did. He must have. Yeah. yeah. I don't ever remember him complaining about it at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and in those days, <laughs> I mean, I you, you didn't keep a very good connection with your family. I mean, you couldn't call. We didn't call. Anytime you got a telephone call, like I say, somebody had died. Mm -hmm. And I this was only 40 miles away, and once a month we got to go home. Only mm -hmm. once a month. And they, they, uh, we'd get letters, but they were always screened. They were opened and read oh. before we got them. We couldn't keep our own money. They kept our own money, and we had to ask for it. Mm -hmm. And if you kept a little money on the side, you really got in trouble. Mm -hmm. We had one prefect that was really strict. Mm -hmm. She'd get us in the, in the study hall in, in the evening after supper, and she'd sit up at her desk and... and we were scared to death of her. <laughs> She'd give us the old one too. <laughs> We'd hear her coming down the hall with her beads jiggling, you know, and boy, everybody sat up, the boys too, you know, in study hall. Wow. Yeah. And so, um, how many kids were boarding there? I mean, there were kids about from 20, the town. About 20, I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you all ate together? And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and did you eat with the nuns? No, or, no, no. They had they they were in the convent. Yeah. was there a convent? Yeah, on the other end of the. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then, who took care of you? Who supervised? Do you oh, remember? there was a prefect. Oh, that was the prefect. And that changed every year. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, you'd mentioned she had beads, and I thought maybe mm -hmm. her rosary beads. Oh, she had rosaries, but Rose. she wasn't a nun. Yes, she was. Oh, she was a nun. The yes, prefect was a that's nun. The Got one. it. Yeah. Oh, there were all nuns at that time. Yeah. Okay. All the teachers and all the teachers. All, everybody. all nuns. Yeah. And they were good teachers? Excellent. Oh, really? Excellent teachers. Isn't that interesting? And they had fun, too. We'd hear them in their social hall, which was not was on the other end of the building, and they'd be laughing, <laughs> they, you know, in the evening. Yeah. They did. They had fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've got fond memories of, of BA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun that when I got to... Go to Faribault to your reunion. Oh, yes. you go yeah. yeah, and I get to meet people and yeah, and you know showed your picture. It's like you had to yeah. show the picture. Yeah, you were dimples or yeah. Right, right, I guess that you? was my nickname. And dimples. you know we never could bring food up. They, they had certain rules, definitely, that you couldn't bring food up to the dorm. Oh. So we just waited. You know we always wanted to do that. So um, right before we graduated. We decided to have a feast in the middle of the night, so we brought food <laughs> up and stuck it under our beds. And then, but you know what? We were so yeah. tired, we woke up and it wasn't even fun. Here we'd planned this for so long. 
and we were too tired to really That's enjoy so it. Funny. That's really funny. So and then there were girls that would get, would get. Uh, what do I want to say? Tossed out. Oh. Because there was a fire escape oh. that went down from the dorm, mm. and they might sneak out at night, mm. which they did. And then, oh, that Bloody was interesting. Naughty. Then their parents, we'd know, we could hear somebody in the uh, parlor that was way down at the end of the hall, and that would be their parents. They'd call their parents in, oh, no. and we didn't see them again. They, they were ousted. Really? Mm -hmm. A little bit of foul play. Mm -hmm. They were strict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I bet it was, it was probably an honor to be able to go to a school like that mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all of you graduated from Bethlehem mm -hmm. Academy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then when you'd come home, would you bring home, you know, music that you had? That mm -hmm. you, I remember you yes. saying that you taught your mm -hmm. sisters. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I taught them. We sang three-part harmony, and Catherine was just, she was singing alto, and she was just a little kid then, you know. And Honey. Yeah. Yeah, Honey. And Connie? Yeah, what did Connie? She was really little. Yeah, but she seems to remember. I mean, when you uh -huh. went, like when when all of you four, when mm -hmm. Aunt Catherine and Aunt Honey were alive, I can remember mm -hmm. Aunt Connie would she would pick it up. So mm -hmm. I, you know, she mm -hmm. was little. Yeah, you know, she, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they did very well. I was hard on them too. <laughs> yeah, they on your own sisters. Yeah, yeah. So did fun. you make we them? We did a lot of singing. Did you make them sit down and? Mm, yeah, I made them toe the mark. Did they every time you came home? Yeah, they didn't seem to mind. Did they you take piano it. at Bethlehem yes, Academy yes, too? Yes, yes, I did. So they, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So was that a better teacher then? Did you have a better teacher at Bethlehem Academy? Than she you was had very good, Sister Stella. I liked Sister her. Sister Stella. Honey never got along with her, but really? I did. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why didn't Aunt Honey like? I her? don't know. <laughs> oh, and Aunt Honey was the one who was I just know. like the real pianist. Yeah. She but you were really a good pianist. And you mm -hmm. were, did you mm -hmm. ever take voice lessons there too? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You're the only one that could. You're the. You had the voice though. No I took kid. one year of voice in uh, college. Oh, in college. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I had a really strict piano teacher in college, Sister Marceline. <laughs> <laughs> I, we 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 just shake when standing outside her room, waiting to go in and take our lesson. Oh. Really. Why one time, one, one girl, I think one time one girl <laughs> had prepared or something, and oh. Mr. Marsley took her music and threw it on the floor. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, she was scary. So she was an excellent teacher, though. Okay. Yeah. You memorized as you went along. Oh, I think that's smart. I like that. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you learned it really well. You analyzed it, you knew mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And she made you memorize it. Mr. Marsley. Yep. Hmm. Was she a fine pianist herself? Did she play well? Well, she it? certainly knew. She knew teach. her stuff. Yeah, yeah. she did. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great?